Hey, today I wanted to discuss this. Uh, the search key was not found in any record. Um, I faced that earlier. Uh, I was be I've been trying to recreate this error, and for some reason I can't recreate it. But here's a a few other attempts um, that others may be experiencing when you import. So you're importing just directly into um, Access from an Excel file, and I already have a preset workbook. So I'm going to import. Um, I decided to keep uh, a duplicate of the ID, even though you know the, the name is the same. I tried to you know make the address a little bit different and everything. Um, but this is just to try to get some specific errors. So now I'm going to force an error. So I'm going to contain column headings the same default. But for indexed, I'm going to say yes, index it but I want no duplicates. I know that I have a duplicate here just to try to get the error. Um, I'm gonna continue. Let Access choose the primary key. No, I wanna choose my own primary key and I want it to be the ID. So I wanna really force an error. Um, when you click next and finish default, it gives you the error message. Let me see if I can try to put that there. The changes you requested to the table were not successful because they would create duplicate uh, duplicate values in the index, primary key, or relationship. Change the data in the field or fields that contain duplicate data, remove the index, or redefine the index to permit duplicate entries and try again. Um, so that, that's one error that you could get. So if you have like a big spreadsheet and you're trying to force IDs and primary keys and everything like that. You want to make sure that, especially if you're not trying to duplicate IDs, make sure your spreadsheet doesn't have IDs in the VM. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to recreate another quick error. Um, so I'm going to open up the spreadsheet that I created here and <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and, you know, in the first name, I'm just going to put a little space there and save it. And I'm going to delete this and re-import Excel. I want to pick the same spreadsheet. Use the default settings. Go through the wizard. Oops. Over here. And I'm just going to accept all the defaults. Y yes, duplicates okay. Indexed. And just continue with the default. Once you click finish, <clears throat> it gives you this error. First name is not a valid name. Make sure that it does not include invalid characters or punctuation that is too long. That is not too long or anything like that. So um, I just forced uh, the error by putting the space in the beginning of the title. So that could be. Um, another error that you might see um, so when you're importing a large spreadsheet you want to either use the trim function um, or just make sure that there's no space in the beginning of your title um, and then you should have a successful uh, import all right uh, thanks a lot and stay tuned for more